Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Paul van Huizen. I'm a teacher at the Radboud Sports Center. Uh, today for the dag start I'm going to give you a small stretch class. Normally with the stretch class we're going to do like a full body warm up and then some deeper stretch in the end. Today it's only short so we're just going to do a warm up to get every, your body loose before you're going to start your day with studying. So we're going to start with our head. We're going to start by looking down, looking up, just slowly going through the movements. We're always going to be working top to bottom, so we're starting with the head and then working down to the whole body and to the feet. Right, then we're going to switch from side to side, so from the left to right, just slowly. Don't push yourself too hard, but try to look as far as you can. You want to feel a stretch on both sides of your neck. Alright, then we're going to hang to the front and go with your ear towards your shoulder. And what can help is try to push the other shoulder down a little bit, so you will feel the stretch a little bit stronger. And it's just a warm up to get everything loose. Don't push too hard, keep it dynamic. Alright, from the same position we're going to make half a circle towards the other side. Just relax your head and look down while you're rolling. Right, then you're going to make the same circle, we'll look from the side to the bottom and to the side. So it's a slightly different movement. It's nice if you've been sitting around beside the desk all day. The shoulders and neck might be a little bit stiff, so we're getting everything loose. Just relax, get into the flow. Alright, and to the front, we're going to move on towards the shoulders. So you're going to just make small circles. Lift the shoulders as far as you can, back, down, and to the front. Just go through the movements. Your upper body can move a little bit with it as well. We're now mostly focused on the shoulders, but it's nice to warm up more things at the same time. You want to make it bigger, so you can put your hands on your shoulders. Use your elbows to make bigger circles. If you want to move the rest of your body a little bit more, whatever feels good to you, whatever your body needs to start the day in a nice, relaxed and fluid way. I'm going to make it even bigger, use your whole arms, Maybe make the motion in the rest of your body a little bit bigger as well. And when your arms are behind you, try to let them touch. It's almost impossible, but it's about the intention. And you will really feel your shoulders warming up, getting nice and loose. Okay, last one. And then we're going to go to the opposite side with just the small circles first. But only the shoulders now. Do make the circles big. We're always trying to do it big. Because you do want to feel a slight stretch in all directions while we're warming up. Alright. Use the elbows, place the hands on the shoulders, maybe start moving the rest of your body a little bit as well. Feel your shoulders working a little bit already. You should start to burn slightly by doing these movements if you're doing them correctly. And we're going to make it even bigger. Make sure the rest of your body is moving a bit as well, whatever feels natural and nice to get your whole body loose. Last one. All right. And then put your feet a little bit further apart. And we're going to move on towards the back. So you're just going to be twisting from side to side. 
My hips stay in the same position, so there's nothing moving in the lower part of my body. It's just my upper body in a relaxed way. Swinging your arms, maybe hitting yourself a little bit to give you a nice massage on your back and shoulder. And try to look as far in the corners behind you of your room. So you really feel a nice twist in the back. Then we're going to make it bigger. Now you can move your hips and your feet and just swing in a relaxed way around you. So we're warming up the whole body. Just find whatever positions you need to reach. Maybe go up all the way. Maybe stay down a little bit. Gives you some nice different twists to warm up the body. Get everything nice and loose. All right. Again, back in the middle. And we're going to put the feet hip width, width apart. We're going to start with our head. We're going to roll down, look towards the floor, and go vertebrae for vertebrae down with straight legs. When you're down, you're going to bend your knees, look up towards the ceiling, and arch up with an arch back. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see from the side. Go down, use your head, let your arms relax, straight legs still, bend the knees, look up towards the ceiling, and roll up. And you're just going to repeat it a couple of times. You will feel your legs working, you will feel your back working, just warming up the whole of the body. And if you feel the need for it, every time you're down with the straight legs, you can stay there a little bit. Try to push yourself a little bit harder if you feel like it. Give yourself a nice extra hamstring stretch and then bend, go up again. Whatever your body needs. Maybe some hair is a little bit more stiff today than you're used to, so use that in your practice. Okay, we're going to go into our last one. Okay, now we're going to reverse the movement, so we're going to start by looking up, arching down, letting your hands hang. When you're down, straight legs, and you're going to bend the knees and roll up with your chin tucked into your chest. Go up. I'm going to show you from the side again. So look up, arch down, all the way down. And when you're down, you're going to bend and roll up. So repeat it a couple of times again. Go slow. Try to stay relaxed and keep breathing. It's always important. Swing our arms and just let your legs bounce, get the blood flowing. We'll swing the arms, try to be relaxed. And it's a really relaxed movement, but your legs are still working and you're still opening up your legs because you're pushing your knees to the side. So we'll feel a slight stretch working your legs. Down. Now we're going to stay down, try to not use your hands as support, if it ever gets too heavy you can put your hands on top of your, top of your knees to help yourself, but try to do it without your hands so your muscles are working. And then you're going to shift a little bit from side to side. And make it a little bit bigger with each one. Now you're trying to straighten the leg you're moving away from and trying to go deep. And go to each side. And you want to try to keep the heel on the floor 
If you can't, like me on my right angle because I had an injury, you can try to keep the heel as low to the floor as you can. It's quite a hard exercise if you ever need to use your hands for support. That's completely fine. Right, last one. And you're gonna go up, close your legs, shake it all out. And that was the class for today. Thank you. All right, so if you like this class or you're curious to the other activities we uh, have on our Rockbot Sports Center, right now during the lockdown we have a nice online classes schedule. I teach two classes a week with the stretch class and some other classes by other teachers of course. Um, and we have some free videos on YouTube, even if you don't have a sports card, you can check out those. I think there's even a stretch class there from another teacher. And after the lockdown we have a nice uh, activity program for you. So if you, don't, you haven't got a sports card yet, please join and uh, we'll see you there.